Habanero is a roaring browdy and roast red table wine with natural habanero flavors. It's bold enough to balance the intense flavors of spicy foods. You're going to love the ripe currant, alder smoke, and dark chocolate notes that complement spicy infused flavors like chicken mole, tamales, or today's recipe, teriyaki beef stew. Now it's very important when you're doing stir fry, you want to have everything ready and chopped to go into your pan because about 75% of the prep for stir fry is actually in cutting all the vegetables. The actual cooking time is the shortest time of all. I did leave the last part about how to prep the ginger. And the easiest way to peel it is with a spoon, which is scrape off the skin. Now the inside is really fibrous and tough, so we're gonna cut around the middle. And we'll cut them into really thin, small julienne slices. I'm gonna line them up, give them a really fine dice. We're gonna heat our pan over medium high heat for about one minute to get it good and hot. Now we're gonna be slicing up our sirloin steak and we wanna make sure we get it as thin as possible. And if you get your Kroger steak really good and cold, it's actually easier to slice. Now for best results, we're gonna use an oil with a high smoke point. And for this, I'm gonna use some coconut oil. And we'll add the beef strips. Now let the meat cook untouched for about one minute to caramelize. That's where all that great flavor comes in. Then we'll toss it up and we'll throw in our broccoli. And we're gonna cook for one or two more minutes until the beef is nicely browned. Next we're gonna add our onions and cook for one more minute. And we'll place it on a plate and let it rest. Now to that same pan, we're gonna add our Kroger beef broth, our carrots, prepared or instant rice, our Kikkoman teriyaki sauce, the Cabanero wine, our ginger, garlic, pepper flakes. We'll bring it together, and cover and simmer for 10 minutes. Boy, it really smells great in here. Let's go ahead and add our beef and broccoli back to the pan, and we'll let it cook through for about two more minutes, and we'll be ready to serve. We'll finish with a light drizzle of the Kikkoman teriyaki sauce. Enjoy with a glass of the Cabanero Red.